Where is it? My bad. Hello? Yeah. Because we are graduating in about four weeks to this day, I think we could call ourselves a bit of an expert in one way. We may not be geniuses, yet we figured this out. Our friends will make fun of us if we rhyme this out, but we will anyway. Rhyme may be made fun of, that's one fact, but we think it will make a bigger impact. <laughs> Though mine and yours are different cliques, my friends and yours are not unique. They may be special, friendly, and kind. They are funny and quirky and not of sound mind. You may think I'm lying, but I assure you I'm not. I've had some free time to give this some thought. These people may sometimes be hard to find, but in basic character, they're not one of a kind. Look to your left. Now look to your right. Now take note of the groups in your line of sight. When you look at each group, you will soon see they're not so different from you and me. Take a look at any group, clique or posse. There's always a standout, the loud one who's bossy. They never stop speaking. They talk all the time. Kind of like us, except not in rhyme. We all try to listen, but to be fair, they never stop talking, even when we don't care. Which is all the time. <laughs> no matter where we go, what we do, or who we meet, there's always a story that they think is a real treat. The stories are exaggerated, silly, and weird. They talk about how they're respected and feared. They aren't always truthful, not always legit, but they will make us laugh, sometimes cry for a bit. It's so hard to listen, they just never stop as they keep on talking until they're on top. As they walk towards me, I can see what's going on. They're about to tell a story that's going to make me yawn. Always starting with so the other day, and then that's when I walk away. And then, just as the story comes to a close, they'll switch subjects to keep me on my toes. Then there's the one who couldn't be more different, quiet, reserved, and pretty resilient. The nose stuck in a book and often forgotten, not usually needed till your life is quite rotten. They good give they give good advice, they're cool and they're calm. They know what to say like it's written on their palm. They're not known to stand up or speak for themselves. It seems like sometimes they're stuck on the shelves. They should not be ignored, they should be respected, but sometimes they let themselves be neglected. This person's so quiet, just like a mouse. Sometimes you won't even know if they're in the house. On the outside, they're sweet and kind and cute, even if they are a bit of a mute. But don't you be fooled by what you see. The quiet ones are always crazy. They never speak their minds, so we don't know what's in it. Their thoughts could be sinister and have evil spirit. Then there's a friend who just loves to hang. Never alone, always part of the gang. They always want to party. Every, every single, single day. day. It gets us to the point where we just want to say, Relax just a little, just for a night. If we don't party, you'll still be all right. Doesn't always have to be a group thing. I'll hang just the two of us. Just give me a ring. They're always happy, hyper, and smiling. Even if we say no, they just keep on tech trying. We are all tired. It's Sunday night. Stop texting me or we'll get in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is a friend who's always mad. The one who is cute. The one who is sad. There is the cool, artsy friend. And then there is the one you can always depend. There is the athlete. The stud. And the jock. And there is the one who lives under a rock. <laughs> Your friends are special, like snowflakes to you. But in the big picture, there's friend one and friend two. Next time you hang out, keep this in mind. They are not unique, not one of a kind. Thank you.